มุมมุมขวามือของห้องนะครับโอเค let's start with the uh, my co moderators okay. there is no question now okay, okay. Uh, any question from the floor okay, okay. Yes. please go to the microphone doctor you can queue up after doctor w u t i p o n g okay I would like to ask doctor p i s i t about the repair of the d i s r u p t o r the patella tendons what is your rehabilitation after that If in your technique that you use the augmentation with the s e m i t e n o s u s thank you. Uh, in this case, in the case that I show you, it is uh, the multiple ligament injury. So this case, I put him in external fixator. But I think if I have isolated this t a l a v u l s i o n by the literature, that uh, they usually immobilization the patient about six weeks and uh, let uh, the Progressive uh, range of motion afterward, but uh, it depend on the feeling of our repair. So if I do uh, repair and check in the OR and show that there's a small amount or no movement of the repair side when I finish my repair, I would allow the patient to do motions or weight bearing earlier. And and what about the the CPM? CPM. If, if in your case that you think your repair is secure, and together with the augmentations, will you you will you try to move a little bit uh, early on the range of motion? I think it's possible, but in in my setting, the patient usually uh, discharge from the hospital. So uh, in that case, I would consider about bring the patient to the knee brace. Earlier than the one that feel unsecure. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Mr. Bishop, s h a n a k a n from Chiang Mai. I would like to ask you about the, in the case of chronic renal failure. You see, uh, many times we went, we went in and you see the the quality of the tendon is not that good. Uh, do you do anything to augment your repair, or you have any tips and tricks in those cases? So I. I think uh, after I do uh, tendon augmentation in in one case that I show you, if I have the problem about the tendon quality or the tendon length that cannot uh, restore the appropriate height of the patella tendon, I would not hesitate to harvest the free graft to do augmentation. So, but you not do routinely in acute uh, patella yes, tendon? I'm, yes, I'm not. But uh, I also, if the tendon quality is like a not too bad, I would do cable augmentation in in my practice. It's quite common in my practice. Enough for you. I want to ask uh, about the PCL. How about the PCL evolution in is the fracture is comminution? What do we do? And <laughs> yes. Uh, If if very very small, if very much small, I, I might be make, maybe conservative. But it's uh, maybe two or three fragment, and is usually when you open it, it is uh, what is it come along together because there are fiber attachment each other. So usually I I, I use the 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 last suture for for pull whole whole of them together. And I use the screw between them and use a spy washer for put put hole of them into the crater. I think if you if you had a, a very but but be careful when you when you tighten the screw because because those things may may be break and get smaller and you cannot fix it. Just what is uh, enough for hold hold them together in the crater. I have only one kid that had a, a small fragment. It is the same as suture to post, right? It is like a combined uh, screw in, and also have the back up of the some some repair to the same screw, right? The the concept in this situation is like that, or maybe you just wrap around the. Oh, okay. For for my son, it's it's, it's uh, quite quite yeah. In this situation, if you just lap around when you compare, it can break it again. Uh, but I 
it, I, I, my technique is quite similar to you, but I, I use another one, like a suture to pause. Can I share that answer? That's yep, for yes. short. I think uh, if you have a staple, that help helps a lot. If you don't have staple in your hand, you can use KY 1.6 millimeters and bend it like a U shape and staple it down. That back up the, the suture to post technique that you did. Thank you. So, uh, so uh, another point more ask. question. Okay, um, may I ask a question for Dr. Pakasit? Uh, for the uh, ACL avulsion fracture in case that you have the intraoperative finding of the, the avulsion of the ACL plus they got some questionable of the root avulsion, the root of a menis meniscus avulsion. What is your uh, plan of management or how the way of the fixation, is cut, uh, the sequence of the fixation? Uh, you mean anterior horn of lateral meniscus? Okay. Uh, I have one case with that, fortunately. Uh, I, I, I do the arthroscopic, absolutely arthroscopic, and do the same, do the same techniques that I show in my slides to, to, to know for the ACL fracture and one to know for the anterior horn of lateral meniscus. So I got three to know for that. Repair, men, repair meniscus of the anterior horn and pulling down to the anterior cortex of the tibia and also the two tunnel for ACL fragment fracture fixation with uh, high, high strength suture, high strength size suture. Do you have any trouble with the tendon, uh, the, uh, the tunnels, uh, jamming or tunnels? No, no. I, I, I open two, I open two ACL tunnel on the medial and I want a lateral and the one um, lateral meniscus on the lateral side. So two incision. Two yep. Okay, may I ask question? Don't, you go. <laughs> uh, in the case, the uh, adult with a chronic kind of uh, malunion or non-union of the ACL motion with only the mechanical block and plane, but uh, the knee is rather stable in this kind of situation, what would, what would you do? Uh, so the, the so the problem of the patient is the mechanical obstruction, right? Yes, uh, my just my laxity, but with hard end. Uh, it's rather, it's maybe zero to one plus of blockment with hard end, but the problem is pain and, and extension lag. Uh, so so that if if in that case maybe I don't I don't break it that I don't break it and leave and surgery it again, but I'm only go inside. <coughs> And do some uh, like a bur burring, burring out, burring out some some spike because that when you have some uh, malunion or the fracture side is is mainly in the anterior side that is moving up. But then I go then I go then I go inside and do the uh, like a a, a, a a homeopathy something like that, bur it out. Just shave and trim it just out. Just shave it. Uh, just take it out. Yes. Okay. Very similar. Because because uh, because the main problem is the mechanical obstruction, not the instability. Okay. Okay. So there has one question from uh, the floor uh, for Dr. Pisit for the PCL avulsion. Oh, sorry, for Dr. Avacharya Pan for the PCL avulsion. Sorry, the um, for the large fragment and non-displayed. The posterior draw test can make the uh, further displacement or not. And if the conservative treatment uh, has been chosen, what is the outcome? Uh -huh. Okay. When, when, when I saw the non displaced PCR Walsh fracture, uh, this is a test with really. Really, if you want to examination, every test will really, really, really soft, not not push it hard. Uh, and what what type of, uh, in my conservation conservation care, I will put on the cylinder cast, cylindrical cast. But when I when I when I mold the cast, I will uh, what is it? Push the tibia up and and and. Mold the anterior cat of the femur downward 
for help for relaxing the PCL uh, for four to six weeks. For four to six weeks, and I change to knee brace and I put some posterior support. Just because because the budget, I I use the what is web build uh, on the posterior of the tibia, maybe one or two inch for put the tibia up anteriorly, and let allow the patient get length of motion get there. Maybe totally maybe for uh, two or three months of the fracture. Yeah, I, I think the result is very good for non-displaced fracture. And one question is that H has the, the factors that you determine which kind of treatment. Aging? H, like old age, young age. In, in non-displaced or in avulsion? Maybe in avulsion, uh, cute. In all avulsion. Uh, I think if 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 the if uh, the patient can go operation, I prefer to operation rather than conservative, because even you all all the aid in in I think in expert hand you can get a very small and very fast operation time, maybe 30 minutes you can fix it already. So and and you can allow your patient to gain length of motion. I think is very benefit for. For the patient compared to on the cast for th for two or three months, uh -huh. uh, but uh, but except in 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 young and facial facial intact, uh -huh. because in my experience it's very very hard to get the strong fixation because it well, the direction is not not perpendicular to fracture, uh, and you due to not to injury to facial, you cannot catch the anterior cortex, so you cannot get a strong fixation. Uh, in my children case, I put a cast after operation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'd like to ask Dr. Shachawan, please, a uh, rather uh, practical uh, question. Uh, is that do you do the MRI every case on the M, uh, MCL injury or any kind of hint or uh, tricks that or this case require MRI since there is uh, seem to be that the different type of injury uh, determine the, the treatment? Yeah, the first question I do not send the patient to do MRI in every case when I question about the MCL. I do not in every case. And uh, in the patient, if you question about the associated injury, the in the meniscus or the multi ligament injury, you I, I I will send to do the MRI. And and if the patient has only the MRI laxity, and as I I I told you, as I told you in the slide, and if the patient has swelling and mark tender at the tibial side and laxity at the 30 degree. We have to exclude the tibial side avulsion of the MCL. So I will send the patient to do the MRI. Okay. Um, the question is about the MRI, um, so it's, we'll skip that. Um, For the fixation uh, of the MCL avulsion, do you think uh, I any uh, benefits for doing like like you need to to fixation with the the so-called double roll? Like you have the staple, you have the anchor uh, for the tibial side. For the tibial side, yes. Yeah, yeah. You you recommend that I think it should be something uh, uh, some yeah, I, uh, yeah. area. Yeah. What's uh, I think there is many type of the fixation according to to the it is it's a case report so so if if we if i if look at the the, the literature for for camp comparing so I, I don't have the the literature like that and and in my opinion i think it's, it's we have to to fix it as much as possible it's according to the tissue quality also yeah the tendon tissue, uh, the ligament tissue quality. 
maybe we put the anchor and and plus the the staple and suture with the 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 tissue around that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, is there any more question from the audience? So uh, thank you very much uh, for all the speakers and all the audience. So I think we have the comprehensive perspective of this uh, kind of abortion fracture around the knee. So uh, it's time's up, so I'd like to close this session. Thank you very much. <laughs>